the week. I hear that music even sometimes when I just hear the clip and I'm on my holidays. It is the Planet Cruise TV show and we really do have bespoke cruises for each and every one of you. Whatever you fancy, Planet Cruise has got that cruise for you. We've got six amazing cruises during this hour, but of course they're always there to help if that cruise isn't there for you. But I'm not alone. I can't sail alone. Well, you can actually. It's the perfect thing to do by yourself. But I have got Fabius Justin with me. Justin, we've just said we haven't been together for ages. I know. It seems like an eternity. It's only been a few weeks. Yeah, it seems like forever. <laughs> great to see you again. Always great to have you with us because your background, I mean, you had a, a huge part of your life was actually working on board cruise ships. Yeah, yeah, I spent all my life since I left school in hotels and then in cruise ships, and I spent six years at sea with P&O. So all of the ports that we're going to be going through today, and of course a great deal with P&O at the end for the Caribbean and the maiden season for Britannia, um, I've lived firsthand. Which is fabulous. So yeah. when we go to those ports, you, you know all those places. So you really I'll give you the give tips, don't worry. The top <laughs> tips, that's what I love. Now, the other wonderful thing is we're booking with Planet Cruise. Why book with Planet Cruise? Well, do you know what? I've only been with them in a short space of time and very quickly you get to understand that when you pick up the phone, you're not just speaking to somebody who's booking a holiday. You're speaking to a tours manager who's been there. You're speaking to a, a, a member of the cruise team um, that has actually been to these ports. Chris, who we may be speaking to, Glenn, who you've seen up on the sofa. Um, you know, they are all experts in the field. And like me, we will give you the best tips. And sometimes, you know, when you go to a, a, a travel agent, um, you know, is, is it safe to book through them? You know, what experience have they got with that That's tour operator? It. And they often don't know the places you're going to. The, you know. the, the main thing with Planet is they are top agents for a lot of the cruise lines. And of course, this TV show on Ideal World, it's the, it's the UK's largest cruising show. And people book with them time and time and time again because what you've got is that peace of mind. Have a look why you should book with Planet Cruise. There are so many reasons and this is why I personally booked with Planet Cruise for our cruise in August. I got the most amazing service. Nobody knew who I was and that I worked on the TV. I just booked as a regular customer and they were incredible on the phone and they did everything that I wanted and they made that holiday bespoke to me. So do, they can tailor make your cruises. They're open seven days a week. They're there for you all the time and you really do get the best prices and that is why I booked with Planet Cruise as well. But we've got so much to get through. We're starting actually with one of my favourite cruise lines because my partner worked for Princess Cruises for many years. It's uh, the Emerald Princess and some, some beautiful places because we're going to Guernsey on this. So it's Spain, it's Portugal, we've yeah. got Guernsey there, France. The, the whole of this show today is just back to back, new promotions, fantastic Fabulous. offers as well and this one is one of them. Princess, you've got a grand class ship, fantastic facilities on board and of course um, some of the places that you're going to be going you're only going to be going for seven days but you're going to cram a lot into it you are going to love where you're going but also who you're sailing on and john's actually on board john from planet cruise and he's going to talk you round the ship that's going to be your hotel for the next seven days emerald princess is a grand class ship that entered service for princess cruises in april 2007. she's one of the largest ships in the princess fleet there are nearly 900 balcony staterooms from which to take in the colourful sunrise over the ocean. Leisurely days spent on board in the Piazza-style atrium are relaxing and entertaining. With the nearby International Cafe fulfilling your cravings for fresh salads and toasted paninis, or maybe even a glass of milk with fresh cookies. Whether you're getting refreshed with a workout in the fitness centre, or putting your feet up at movies under the stars, your experience on the Emerald Princess is sure to be an unforgettable one. So with so much going on on board Emerald Princess, it's a good idea to get some inside information. And who better to ask than the cruise director, Kelvin. How are you? Thanks, very good. Thanks for coming along and talking to us. Thank you. Now, you've been here, you know, what, 15 years with Princess? Princess, 15 years. I, yeah, I joined uh, actually the Sun Princess, which is a smaller ship than the, uh, the Emerald, in 1998. What can people expect the first time they come on board Emerald Princess? Well, there's a huge variety. Um, we have uh, singers, we have musicians, uh, instrumentalists, magicians, comedians. Comedians are a big thing with the, the Brits. The Brits. They seem they to love them. Love but then, yeah. of course, we have uh, big production shows as well with our singers and dancers. You know, we, we offer, uh, on this ship in particular, four big production shows. And uh, actually a brand new show that was only premiered about two weeks ago is our international music event, okay. which is unique to the cruising industry because it involves all our musicians. 
on the ship into one big show. Wow. And if someone was cruising on Emerald Princess for the first time, what can they expect? Well, I think for the uh, first time, I think they've uh, got to open up their mind and uh, you know really enjoy everything that the ship has to offer. Even try stuff that they may never have tried before. You know, with so many different activities and shows uh, going on, um, that, yeah, they really need to, I think, open up their mind, and I think they'll enjoy, enjoy everything. Yeah. Well, exciting time. Yeah, thank you very much, Kelvin. Pleasure. Cheers. Great to have you. Oh, beautiful ship. I mean, amazing. And then we're sailing to so many fabulous places as yeah. well. Do you know what, though? One of the great thing is, though, is the promotion that you're getting on this one. You're getting a free £300 dollar onboard spend. Oh, my word. You can choose from that. Or you can have free parking and free transfers. Or this is the benefit with, with actually booking with Planet Cruise. We've got uh, a deal with the Marriott in Southampton at the Mion Valley, which includes parking, includes the transfers, and is only £75 per person. Now, if you do that, so if you're perhaps coming down from up north, perhaps Perfect. you're coming up from Manchester or further field. What a great way to start the holiday. Start the holiday, your parking's included, your transfer's included, and you still get the $300 on board spend. That is the way to do it. Incredible, incredible deal. We've got some amazing deals throughout the whole of this hour. This is definitely one of them. But let's see where we're going, because this is I, I love the fact it's no fly so I can pack as much as I like I'm sailing from Southampton it's, which is yeah it's a great sail, sail away from Southampton mm. as well whichever cruise line you go on it's great to sail out of the UK you're going to be heading into Vigo and of course there's a fantastic region for its food and its fish great fish markets uh, and of course it's the gateway as well Santiago de Compostela uh, which is the medieval um, uh, uh, sort of uh, Christen, Christendom's most important site right uh, you've got St James there one of the um, uh, it just it just really is amazing. Um, we're moving on. We've got so much to fit, fit into this. You're going to be going into Lisbon. Now, this is one of my favourite ports. First of all, um, fantastic city itself. You've got to go on one of the trams. Yes. Um, it's really accessible, so if you do want to wander around, this is the 25th of April bridge you actually sail underneath, so the, the ship's actually docked oh, just wow. along from here. There's so much to see around here. There's the bridge. There's also um, uh, the Christ the Redeemer statue as well, just opposite. Um, uh, and then a lovely monument to the discoverers as well as the uh, Torre de Belém as well, the Belém Tower, just down from here. So uh, really fantastic place to, to go and have place, a look. Isn't it? Shopping's good as well. Of course, Zara came from here. Other brands are available, but we always used to love going See, in there. <laughs> it, it's got to be a good place if Zara oh, came shopping. there. Oh, shopping. I absolutely love Lisbon. Spent a lot of my time in Portugal when I was young. Actually, just back from Portugal, but more um, more along the Algarve line. But that absolutely stunning. But moving on, we've got then got a fabulous relaxing day at sea so we can enjoy that fabulous ship but where are we heading to next going to go into la rochelle now this is a really small quaint little port in fact you can actually see here one of the three towers uh, and these three towers uh, are the turrets of St. Nicholas. Um, so uh, when you actually sail into there, you're not going to be sailing in the cruise ship past there. But that's the little, uh, the, the old uh, harbour that you've got. Of course, this is the gateway to the Cognac region. So if you do love your Hennessy, um, then you've got to go on to uh, onto the actual tour. Then you're going to be going on to Guernsey and St. Peter's Port. Um, this is just a fantastic, um, lovely little port. Again, uh, because you've got so many different cultures in there, um, of course, British Isles, the sort of French influence, and of course, lots of history history because it's the only part of the UK that was actually um, occupied during the Second World War um, uh, by the Germans. So yes. uh, you've got so much to see and do and great it's, shopping it's as well. It's completely unspoiled as well I think Guernsey. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to visit, a real quaint place to visit. You're going to absolutely love that and then we're heading back after a fabulous week back to Southampton. Yeah, so all the stuff that you've bought on board, uh, all, all your little trinkets and stuff, of course you're going into Southampton, you don't have to worry about flying no. back um, and just a, you know, a great disembarkation process. Southampton is one of those you know, really good ports, you know, it's, it's been designed and built um, for years ships have been going out there so it really is a great experience. She's look, uh, she is a fabulous ship, it's going to be a super super cruise, no need to fly, you're going to sail out of Southampton on an absolute beauty and really relax and enjoy, which is what you can do on board. They are, they've just got everything that we can need. Well, and again, I just really can't stress this enough, the £300, uh, sorry, $300 on board spend uh, for a stateroom. For this, we're only spending 799 Yep. 799 per person. And this is the great thing, you can either choose from the £300 on board spend, sorry, $300 on board spend, um, your free car parking or free coach transfer, Book that extra night, especially if you're travelling down. Definitely. Um, book the Mion Valley. Free, free car parking and the free transfer. For, so have, have the money. Yeah. Mike, we're just giving, giving, giving. And seven boards on board that fabulous Princess 
cruise line, the Emerald Princess. I want you to jot down the ID number for this, which is 952 one one that's all you need do note it is a different number to normal and a different actual website so free phone number and we've got oh wow we've got some great pictures coming up because these are a group from planet cruise and they went visiting didn't they yeah you can, you can book ship visits so if you haven't been on a ship before if there's a new ship that comes out that you want to to have a look at um give the guys a call you can register as well and of course here's some of the passengers um that will uh, hopefully be so, uh, cruising with planet so we saw christine and roy there we've got freddie and justine here with Keith, of course. Yeah, and there's Keith again. And there's <laughs> Keith, Keith again. He got in on all of these, didn't he, with Karen and Carol. Did he manage to get into the next one? Oh, we did. And he's on there as well with Anthony and Jane. And the last one is John and Helen. Great to see those shots. I know you have a fabulous, fabulous time when you go visiting those ships. And, of course, you can do that with Planet Cruise. Great if you're wondering about having, you know, a, you know, going on a cruise ship for the first time. You can go and visit first. Hang on a minute. They're just saying to me in my ear... There's some breaking news. Yeah, we've got a what cruise just news? in. <laughs> we've got a caller on the line. This is Chris, Chris Woodcock, who I believe is from Planet Cruise. Chris, are you there? I'm here. Hi, Chris. Well, we didn't know we were going to be speaking to you. I didn't mean either. Yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise. I'm guessing you've got a hot tip. I, I guess something's happened. And yeah, this one, get we decide, we've decided to put this one on the show this morning because it, uh, it kind of came in overnight and it started a little buzz in the office this morning. Uh, it's an incredible offer. It's Norwegian Epic, which is the world's third largest ship. Uh, it's a nice big ship, lots of plenty of things to do. It's on 20th of September and it's a six-night fly cruise from Southampton to Barcelona. So you only have one flight involved. Get this, the price for an inside room is 379 oh. a person. No. Three seven nine for six nights full yeah. board. Can you believe it? That, that is, is crazy. that's phenomenal. Now, Chris, I'm just a bit worried we're not hearing you right. Three seven nine. Three seven nine. You are hearing me correctly. For it's six got uh, sailing from Southampton. You've got a transfer. Are you back to the UK? Oh. <laughs> Uh, what could be better, you know? No. I mean, the ship is also amazing. Great for single, so they've got rooms specifically designed for single guests. Oh. They've got uh, family rooms. They've got it all covered. Fabulous. Now, we nearly lost you there. I think they're trying to cut you off because they must be thinking that must have been a mistake. That is such <laughs> an incredible deal. I Thank you so much for letting us know about that. And if anybody wants to just ring up and ask, you've got all the details, haven't you? Yeah, the cruise ID is 81984. 81984 is your ID number, so jot that down. And that's great. Thank you so much, Chris, for letting us know about that. Oh, I think, I think he's gone. I think, I think perhaps we shouldn't have known. They're, wow. trying to, they're dragging him from the phone as we speak. It wasn't meant was, to be said on TV. I was just going to say as well, if you actually pick up the phones now and you actually you, you get hold of Chris, Chris used to work on board ship. Again, just another example Fabulous. of what a book with Planet Cruise because Chris was one of the crew staff. We've got to move on. We've got so much to tell you about. So we're moving on now to our second cruise. This is Celebrity. This is Eight Nights, Norwegian Fjords, which is the most stunning cruise that you can go on on a five-star beautiful ship and, of course, Planet Cruise, top agent for, of course, the fabulous celebrity cruises. And Keith has gone on board so he can show you around where you'll be staying. Launched in 2010 by round-the-world English yachtswoman Emma Ponting, the multi-award-winning Celebrity Eclipse is one of the most beautiful and well-appointed ships I've ever had the pleasure of sailing on. Welcome to Modern Luxury. There's daily enrichment opportunities on board with hands-on art classes, Rosetta Stone language courses, engaging public speakers, and even a chance to polish your jive or learn Zumba. But best of all is this place. It's called the Lawn Club. Real grass, expansive views, live concerts, lawn bowls, croquet, and just behind me, the excellent hot glass show. Each one of Eclipse's 12 bars has its own unique feel. Try a new wine or two at Cellar Masters. Lovers of luxury will adore the skill of the mixologists at the world's first ever world-class bar. But if you like to be in the heart of the action, then definitely try the Martini Ice Bar. Over a hundred amazing cocktails, juggling bartenders and the chance to write your name in the ice. There are ten restaurants to choose from, so as you cruise around the world, so do your taste buds. You can dive into a delicious plate of true rustic Italian cuisine at the Tuscan Grill, or devour a plate of filet mignon in the French-themed and Michelin-style quality Murano's. But for something that sums up celebrity in a nutshell, you simply must try cuisine. The menu is presented on an iPad, and it includes things like sushi lollipops, lobster escargot, popcorn fish, and disco shrimp. 
I tell you what, eating has never been so much fun. The plush main theatre on board a celebrity eclipse offers cutting edge shows to rival the West End, Vegas and Broadway. The musical theatre tribute shows and song and dance spectaculars. Designed by a very talented group of five ladies and with six different varieties to choose from, all of Celebrity Eclipse's staterooms offer true modern luxury. From comfortable inside staterooms through to these gorgeous suites, which feature floor-to-ceiling windows, panoramic balconies and your own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. You won't, won't want to leave. They are stunning ships, aren't they? Well, it's, it's modern luxury. I love the lawn club that you've got, and she's just had a refit that particular ship. Oh, so, wow. so you've got two new venues as well with a gastro uh, bar as well. But oh, um, and where will we be going to? Let's have a look. Great a, destinations again. No fly, which is fabulous. So out of Southampton, heading to where? Uh, to Bergen, one of my favourite ports. I mean, just take a look at this. You've got this beautiful, picturesque. Oh, wow. Uh, fishing village. Uh, just up in the background, you see the uh, lights going up yes. towards the mountains. That's the funicular railway that goes up the top there. Book a walking tour. Uh, you can do it on your own, uh, but lovely, colourful buildings all the way along the shoreline and a great fish market every week. The bars and restaurants here can be quite expensive, so this is a great thing. You're cruising in, you've got all those facilities on board. You can yes. go and see these places, but you don't have to pay the local currency prices. And if you want to do any tours, of course, those excursions you can book with Planet Cruise before you get there as well. We're moving on. That was a beautiful photograph. Mm. Oh, wow. Moving on to Flam. Uh, moving on to Flam quite literally means the little place with steep mountains. This is where you have to do the Flam railway tour. It will take you up thousands of feet, dozens of tunnels. The scenery is just breathtaking and stunning. Oh I mean, look at the gosh. fjords there. Absolutely stunning. An absolute must-have. It's something we've all got to do and go to. And where are we going to next? Well, this this is probably one of the most beautiful fjords in the world, Granga Fjord. Uh, and this, of course, is where you see the Seven oh Sisters waterfall, waterfall and the Bridal Veil Waterfall as well. Um, all of these, these these ports, they're really small ports because in the summer, um, uh, all the Norwegians will actually go there and use it as their summer home. In the winter, you can imagine the landscape. There's the uh, the waterfall, the Seven Sisters that I was just talking about. Absolutely so beautiful there. Breathtaking. Mm. It's something I haven't done yet, but I've got to do the fjords. So we're moving on. I mean, this is great. We've got eight nights. It's quite unusual. Where are we going to after that? We're going into Allison. Now, we were talking about small ports and small villages. Uh, this now is one of the big city ports, and this is just fantastic. Uh, 1904, there was a massive fire that actually destroyed half of the, uh, the, the actual city itself. Gosh. So it's all been rebuilt in an Art Nouveau style. So the architecture is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and also fish as well. This is uh, one of the biggest and most important f uh, ports uh, for Kipflisk, uh, which is dried cod. Um, and yes. it's the biggest port in the world for, for that particular uh, delicacy. Oh, so if you want to dry, bring some dried cod home... <laughs> You've got to try it. You've you got to worry <laughs> about packing it because you're sailing back to Southampton. And then we've still got more to see. Where are you going to next? You're going into Stavanger. This is known as the Cradle of the Vikings, so you've got history there. I mean, the scenery is absolutely breathtaking. You've got to take uh, a tour um, up to the top of some of these points because you can see here, these are the postcards that you will be creating uh, with your camera uh, and if you dare sit on the edge I don't recommend that um, but look at it it's just breathtaking this is an incredible deal for the fact that you are on celebrity at this price the fact you're seeing the most incredible mm. beautiful um, once in a lifetime experience really but it's the package apart from the ports I mean celebrity is known uh, for you know their tagline is modern luxury um, we always used to be quite envious on on uh, other ships seeing them you know on the shore side because of the facility they get um, uh, and also they're known for their wine which we will be talking about but after Stavanger you're going to be coming back to Southampton of course sailing back in so all of your, uh, your bits and pieces that you've bought whilst you're on holiday no need to worry about, about bringing, the extra yeah. weight which is perfect the ship is absolutely stunning they just seem to get it right don't they celebrity oh, definitely definitely and like I said their wine is some of the best if not the best at sea now we need to see what's included because you have got so, so much included with this. You've got dates in April and August next year, incredible price. But if you book that Ocean View, you'll receive a free standard drinks package, which we'll tell you about. But also you've got other options as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, obviously depending on the, the, the type of level that you book with and the type of room, um, there's some great packages, especially Aqua. Um, because unlimited Wi-Fi, I know we always say about cruising you want to switch off, but you know, perhaps if you do need to be uh, in touch and you know, on Facebook posting all these wonderful places, 
$300 on board spend as well. Uh, we'll take you through all the different levels in a second. Some amazing offers. Do add on that stay in the Marriott as well. You've got your parking included and your return transfers. And all you need to put down today is a deposit as well. But let's have a look at the extras because that's what, that's what celebrity are so good at. So if we are going here for concierge class, what are we getting? Well, you're going to get priority checking. You're going to get your uh, fresh fruit in your cabins as well. Uh, you get the celebrity tote bag, so just you know, full of those little uh, goodies that you're going to need. Excellent. So you know, don't worry about packing everything. That's the thing. You know, everything is thought about. Um, you also get your afternoon canapes. You get your blended shower gels as well. And all of the uh, the towels are just super Egyptian cotton, super soft and fluffy as well. So that just gives you an idea. We've got the Aqua Class for Og for you as well, which again all the extras and so much more if you're going for the aqua so you've got the free premium drinks you've got the 300 dollar onboard spend and you've got the free wi-fi with this too so well worth looking in price wise to these i mean for, for, for some of these deals are amazing whether you're going for a balcony whether you're going for the aqua now no. these are the drink packages that we can we can actually get so we have got the select package there you've also got your classic package and you've also got the premium the pre Back yeah, coming with, aqu uh, with, with Aqua as well. And remember, so we'll get in all of that with the Aqua. Yeah, with the premium wow. package, that comes included with Aqua. And remember, you get um, your own restaurant, which is blue. And this is uh, amazing. The, the type of cuisine, it's really clean and really fresh, but fantastically put together. So you get... You get sort of like a steak with a light vinaigrette, but it's the best steak and vinaigrette that you've ever tasted. Mm, um, and the amazing. premium package there, like I said, Celebrity is known for their wine, so 20% discount off of, off of wines. Wine by the glass as well, all of your craft beers, all of your spirits, um, all of that so, included so with much. Aqua. Too much to tell you really, do jump onto the phones, jump onto the website, there's your ideas of prices, incredible prices, I can't believe 999 for a balcony on Celebrity, going to the Norwegian fjords, all you need to do is put down a deposit today. Remember that ID number, I know that one is going to absolutely fly, so your ID number is 87259 and that will take you straight through to that cruise, either on the website or, or best to jump on the phones because they're there for, for you. We're moving over now to our third cruise and this is Norwegian cr Cruise Lines. Now this is the Epic and it is going to be a nine night Oh, special because yeah. this is <laughs> when I turn my page over I know it's just going to say wow. This is Barcelona and it's the F1 Grand Prix Yeah. and we get tickets on the grandstand yeah. <laughs> and we stay in a hotel for two nights in Barcelona. In Barcelona. It is the most and um, I can't believe yes that price is right. This is going to be amazing. The, the great thing is, I mean, obviously we've got Silverstone this weekend, so all the Formula One fans, you know, it, it sometimes splits couples because obviously you've got one Formula One fan yes. and then a shopping fan. That's so true. This gives you the best ports and destinations. I mean, you've got Rome, Civitavecchia, you've got Livorno, uh, you've got Cannes, and then you've got Barcelona as well. And yes, it is a uh, escorted Barcelona tour um, with the, for, for the F1, all-inclusive drinks whilst you're on board as well. I mean, this is just I mean, a this great. Is great. If you do, if you book that balcony or above, you've got free all-inclusive drinks package included in this deal too, which is amazing. You also get a free cocktail party, which is just for the Planet Cruise Group. And the actual ship itself, uh, the the Epic, is fantastic. You've got an ice bar on there. You've got one of the best um, uh, pool facilities as well. The actual slides. I don't know where we'll see them, but the slots that you get there, you just turn into a big kid again. Um, you know, they really? really do know how to do modern. And when I say modern, you can see the contemporary style that you've got there um, uh, and do it so well. So excited about this one. This is going to be that great 30th birthday, 40th birthday, 60th birthday, anniversary yeah, present. Let's see where we're going because there's so much included in this. We're starting off, first of all, flying out to Barcelona, which I love. Yeah, well, I mean, this is your embarkation port. You get two nights at the end of the cruise on this one. So straight into Barcelona and then on to Naples. Uh, now, Naples, of course, it is the cradle when it comes to cuisine oh, wow. for Italy. This is where coffee is strong. This is where <laughs> pizza is thin and crispy. And it's also your port for uh, Mount Vesuvius, Herculaneum, the Amalfi Coast. We were just talking about the Amalfi Coast earlier on, saying, you know, how we try and recreate that little bit of the Mediterranean in the UK when we've got weather like this. Yes. It's like that all the time over there. Fabulous. So, you know, I really do enjoy it. We've then, got, some, it's got some amazing 
amazing actual places that we're stopping at. And of course, this is the same ship that that special offer that came in with Chris on the, the phone. Yes, yeah. This is the same ship that you would be going on as well. So we're moving on to where next? Uh, you're going to go into Rome. This is a oh, biggie. Oh um, book your tours early on this one. You yes. can do Rome in a day. Of course, you want to see the Vatican City. You'll want to see the Trevi Fountain uh, as well. Got to go to the Colosseum. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those places, um, Spanish Steps as well, and another place you've just got to go to. Um, so you can do it in date, book your tours early because you're going into Civita Vecchia. Uh, the port itself is a great port, um, but if you haven't been to Rome before, go and do it. Then you're into another big port. You know, this is why the itinerary, it is a classic Mediterranean cruise, Florence and Pisa. Um, one thing you've got to do here is obviously have your photograph taken on the Ponte Vecchio Bridge, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps go and buy some of the jewellery as well, or if you do want to go to the Leaning Tower, um, then of course have your photograph taken just uh, holding it up there. Um, just a, a fantastic day in port. Again, you've got to book your tours early on this one because it does get And quite... you can book all of those through Planet as yeah. well. I mean, this is the most incredible itinerary. We're going on to Cannes now. I know, you know, we've, we've, wow. we've had the, the highlights of Italy and now one of the most cosmopolitan uh, ports in France. Of course, Cannes itself is quite small. The film festival, though, is the biggie. You've actually got a boulevard, and this is this is actually twinned with LA. Um, you've got the boulevard, very much like you see all the stars with their yes, handprints yes. Um, in Cannes. So you've got to go and see that. You've got to go and see the famous theatre as well. Um, I think they call it the Alley de Stars uh, in Cannes, which is the Hollywood's uh, Walk of Fame. Um, so uh, just a great little port. But... Then you're into Parma. Now this, usually I'd say Parma is, is a real highlight, but look at all the ports that you've uh, got here. These are all some of my favourites. Do you know what I'd recommend? Parma, go to the beach, mm. chill out, have a nice little Beautiful. wind down day. The city itself is fantastic. Of course, you've got the cathedrals to go around, really cosmopolitan, so great for your shopping. And some of the marinas as well is really good for Japanese seafood. Oh, and that sounds strange. Yes. One of the best Japanese seafood restaurants I've ever been to was in Palm. We used to always go to the beaches when we were in Palm. They're absolutely stunning. And then, you already I'm loving this cruise, but then what a special we've got. It just gets better and better. Yeah. We've got a two-night stay now in a hotel in Barcelona. Yeah, so transfer to, to your hotel in Barcelona. Barcelona, and then you've got time to have a look around Barcelona, go to the Ramblers, go to the Gaudi buildings, uh, go to uh, the cathedral as well, um, go to all of those sites. But most importantly, it is F1. This weekend, of course, we've got Silverstone, but next year, so this is 2016, where are all the drivers going to be? What technologies are going to be introduced? And you're going to be seeing the, uh, the Grand Prix from a grandstand. Now, I've been lucky enough to be up at Silverstone for the last five years. Um, I've, I've usually been working it because I can't afford it. It's so expensive here in the UK. But Barcelona, the Mediterranean, the weather's, you know, you should imagine should be fantastic. Um, and again, um, Fernando Alonso, where's he going to be racing? I think this is going to be a big, big circuit. Certainly the atmosphere uh, oh, from the support of the Spanish crowd. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe the price of this when you think of all the places you're going, plus the fact you have got those tickets included as well uh, and on board such an, uh, a beautiful ship as well which has got some some real great aspects i mean the slides <laughs> <we> are <laughs> fabulous aren't they? i was saying to you about the slides i mean that that just turns you back into a big kid again so you've got fantastic facilities on the ship you've got brilliant ports to go to i mean rome pisa Cannes, parma and then at the end two days in barcelona including that escorted tour to the F1 uh, Grand Prix. This is just amazing. Deposit only is all you need. Have a look at what you've got included. You've got, of course, if you're going for that balcony or above, you've got the free drinks package, so well worth looking into that. You have got, of course, that, that fabulous experience of the Grand Prix. You've got a free, free cocktail party. That's just for Planet Cruise customers that are on board. And the grandstand tickets, I, I can't believe if you took the tickets off the price of the cruise, it, it, it's amazing. I kept, are you sure is that the right price? It is the price. It's the deal that's available at the moment. If you want to go for that, the ID number there is 100 nine three eight and of course if you do want to book a tour to go into rome do that through planet cruise as well you get them at great prices and then you know you can just relax everything's booked and you can get on board and just enjoy which is exactly what you're going to do with that cruise we need to move on though because we are moving on now to costa cruises now this is borneo singapore philippines hong kong and again Look at the price. Look at just flying to one of those places. A thousand two hundred and forty-nine pounds yeah. per person is is 
amazing. Stairs are saying it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Let's have a little look because what you've got here is a deal that can't be missed, which I think is with a lot of these. It works out. It's amazing value under £84 per person yeah. per night. And that, that's for this particular region of the world. I mean, two nights stay in Singapore, Hong Kong, that's your bookends. <gasps> and two, then, yeah, and two nights at the end in Hong Kong. Yeah, and then all of the fantastic ports in between. You've got culture, you've got um, fantastic beaches that we're going to be going through. Um, I mean, it really is the destination and the value, £84 this per person. This is going to be amazing. We're starting off in Singapore. So in Singapore, we have, of course, got a two-night stay, somewhere I would love to go mm. to, and you're visiting it amongst all these other amazing places. So tell us a little bit about Singapore. Singapore's fantastic I and mean, there's so much to do. You can do beach, you can do city, you can do temples, you can do culture. The shop in here is fantastic. Places you've got to go, you've got to go to Raffles, have a Singapore sling. Um, mm -hmm. Go to Sentosa Island as well, that's a fantastic. Get the cable car across uh, and there's the dragon as you sail into the actual port itself. You'll see the dragon of Sentosa Island really is fantastic. So you've got your time to enjoy and relax and acclimatise as well. Remember, it's yes. a completely different part of the world before embarking your ship. Now, fantastic ship, but as I said, the itinerary oh, on this is just phenomenal. Um, now, when you actually do board, you've got two days at sea, you know, enjoy all the facilities. Costa's got fantastic uh, sort of Mediterranean feel to it, and that's obviously going to be a complete, completely different part of the world. Um, the first port, though, that we're going into um, is Brunei, and this is just a fantastic port, Bandar Seri Begawan. Right. Um, oh. Yeah, I managed it. It's a bit of a so mouthful, well. isn't it? It um, is. But the great thing about this, you've got the contrast of Singapore, which has still got all of those wonderful temples. But when you get into Brunei, you've got temples on a grand Most scale. Most amazing buildings. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's, it, in particular, one to note is the Astana Nur al Iman, which of course is the, uh, the official uh, residence of the, of the Sultan of Brunei. Um, there is just some beautiful places here. In complete contrast, you can actually go uh, on a mangrove um, uh, a tour. So you can go on this little cruise through the mangroves. It's completely different. You can tour past a stilted village, uh, which is the, uh, the, the Kampong Aya. Um, and this, this is literally a village, temples, all built on stilts. Oh so, my word. I mean, would, you, would you do that on your own? Would you fly uh, out and that, do that? That, that no. is the thing, no. You've got mon facilities, and this is £84 per person it's, per it's night. It's crazy. This is going to absolutely fly. And again, in January, that month when we all feel down and you need yep. something exciting to look forward to. And can I just say, book now, because of course yeah. January is a very busy time for, for any holiday industry, in particular mm. Planet Cruise. Book early because this is deposit only. One of my um, favourite months to actually go away. You, you need it good, in January, it? yeah. Um, Where from, are we moving on to? For Brunei, we're going into Kota Kinabalu, and this is where you're going to see your monkeys. Yeah. Hey, look oh. at that. Hey, it's almost oh, like a family photo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so if you fabulous. love all those programs, if you want to go and see some of the, you know, some some great animals in their their natural habitat, then you've got to go there. Also, there's there's a lot of colonial tradition as wow, well that's can you still do that around. With your legs? Um, that's no, amazing. I was probably good. <laughs> I probably well, perhaps a few years you look ago. A bit more I, don't, I don't know about now. I'd be the one hanging on. I was a dancer. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm more like this now. Very slow. I, this, <laughs> uh, but you never forget. You never forget. That's the thing. <laughs> um, but you know, and this is some great views as well you've got to go up to signal hill um, and the uh, the clock tower as well because the views from up there um, it used to be uh, used for navigating ships but of course oh, as, as all the buildings got higher and higher uh, then uh, that's what sort of one of the remnants of the colonial period uh, then you're actually going to go in into uh, Puerto Princia and this well just take a look at this we were talking about how how blue oh. um, now do you think that looks pretty that, the is, that rivers? is pretty but I've seen the wait next picture. until yeah wait until you see oh, this my. look at the colors yeah. paradise and the great thing is, you know, you, you feel like Indiana Jones when you go, oh, go to amazing. these ports oh, because wow. there's great, great coral reefs, great snorkeling. You can go through the underground rivers. Uh, there's crocodile farms as well. It's not one of the most um, developed ports, but that's the nice thing about it. you're going into these rustic ports, um, which are just, I mean, that's natural beauty. You don't need to that's build on that. That's absolutely incredible. And we've still got so much more to yep. see. You're going into Boracay, and this, this is your beach resort. This is where you do your water sports. There's zip lining. Um, there's boat trips, glass bottom boat trips as well, uh, rock pools, forests. It's just fantastic. Now, there's one, one port on this itinerary, which is the next one, Manila. 
Manila's got fantastic history. Book a tour, go on a jeepney. Because for Manila and the Philippines, as you probably know, if, you're in the, if, if you've been on a cruise before, there's a lot of Filipino staff uh, that are on board. This is one of the only chances they get to go into their home port. Oh, and wow. these are guys that spend months, I'm talking nine months sometimes, away on from board, their family. Yeah. Give your cabin steward the day off. I bet that's... Um, it's so they, emotional for yeah. them. And they put on a great show, the sail away, to see all of the families sailing. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, it's just amazing. But yeah, but uh, you can book a tour around the new town, go around the old town as well. Uh, of course, again, Manila um, was actually uh, one of the ports after, after parts of Europe in the Second World War. This is completely obliterated. So there's very little of the old buildings left. It's all newly developed, um, but just a, a fantastic place. Oh, there's just so much. To, this is incredible. We've got a relaxing day at sea, and then we're on to Hong Kong, and we're staying in there in a hotel for two nights. Yeah, I mean, fantastic shopping. Every night in the harbour you've got the uh, the light show, uh, the fireworks display. Um, it's just one of those ports that is great to finish off with. You know, go up to the viewing point uh, as well at Victoria Peak, up the uh, Vernicular Railway. Uh, go down to some of the, uh, the authentic markets as well. Oh, let's uh, see what's included. This is just incredible. The most incredible ship, the most incredible deal. I can't believe the places we are going to. Yet the price, uh, that would be a flight or, you know, you'd struggle to get to these countries for, for the price that we've got the whole holiday for. And yeah. look at the ship. Great ship, fantastic destinations, two nights stay in Singapore and two nights in Hong Kong. Get on the phones. It's a deposit only, don't miss out on this one. And, and again, check other actual airports. Planet are so good at getting you from the airport that's nearest to you. And you've got two two night stays in four star hotels. One at the beginning of your holiday in Singapore and one at the end in Hong Kong. And that is just a dream. And in January, just absolutely perfect. So your ID number is 102356. An absolute beauty and I know that is going to be so popular so don't leave that too long because those January cruises do go so so fast but we've got to move on we've got the Royal Caribbean it's the anthem of the seas this is 13 nights it's Spain Madeira it's the Canary Islands as well so virtually guaranteed sunshine so let's have a little look on board and then we'll look where we're going when you're travelling on board Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas, it honestly feels like you've taken a trip in Doctor Who's TARDIS. It is so futuristic. Robotic bartenders, virtual balconies and venues that literally change in front of your eyes. You will feel like you've been transported to the moon as your first port of call. <laughs> this really is a smart ship. Shall we go and explore? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. On board, there are 18 different dining experiences, which means that if you're on the ship for a week, you could have your dinner and your lunch somewhere different every day and still not try them all. But the best is behind me, Jamie's Italian. Yes, the naked chef has brought his fresh, rustic Italian food to sea with Royal Caribbean. Oh, I got bumped. Ah! This is Royal Caribbean Seaflex and it is absolutely amazing. By day, you can come down here and learn to juggle or do some trapeze skills with the circus school. And then, of course, you've got the first ever bumper cars at sea. Bumper cars at sea, amazing. And then at night, this transforms into a roller disco. I've bought my leg warmers. Right, I'm off. I've got to get them back. I think this is the most exciting cruise ship venue I've ever experienced. You've got two and a half decks worth of glass just wrapping around 270 degrees of the aft of the ship. So it means that in the day, the light streams in. Then at night, these huge windows become one giant TV. A stunning video is projected onto the glass. Acrobats descend from the heavens and huge robotic arms dance with live performers. Trust me, you've never seen anything like this. Welcome to the cruise industry's first bionic bar. You order via the tablets provided or via your smartphone on the IQ app and then your order is displayed on the screens around the bar. A bar bot then blends your order with laser precision and lightning speed. Fresh from its 12 year hit run in London's West End, the musical We Will Rock You will be premiering here in the Royal Theatre and you can even book the best seats online. The accommodation on board Anthem of the Seas offers you plenty of fantastic options. For a start, all the interior staterooms feature virtual balconies with real-time views allowing you to lie in bed at night and watch the moon ripple across the water. However, if you'd like to feel like a king or queen for the day, then how about trying out the Royal Loft? This is a spectacular two-deck high suite which comes complete with its own whirlpool and butler service. That is out of this world. What a ship. 
And do you know, everybody that I speak to in the industry is talking about Anthem at the moment because it is the ship. I mean, this is maiden season. You've got the North Star, which is the uh, the viewing pod that goes out over oh, yes. the ship itself. Oh, my goodness. Um, you, you've got the indoor skydiving. You've got all the rock climbing, all those facilities. It's just fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. It's going to be an absolute dream and going to some beautiful sunny places so let's have a little look where we're starting and of course starting in Southampton which makes it really special as well so another night no fly which is great yeah yeah so you're sailing out of Southampton first port is Vigo we uh, we touched on Vigo earlier on it's just a fantastic place for your fish uh, of course get your tours in early so if you do want to go to uh, any of the places locally like Santiago de Compostela then uh, you get on and we can book and, that yeah you can cruise, book it with the cruise before specialist. you go so you know you've got that sorted uh, there's also a really good museum of contemporary art in Vigo as well so if you don't want to go too far then stay in the Perfect. town uh, relaxing day at sea now remember that you've got four hundred dollars on board spending included in this deal so whilst you know on board Gosh. you can use that um, one of my favorite ports now uh, we're going across to Funchal Madeira uh, of course you've got Madeira wine you've got Madeira cake you've got the fantastic flower market um, you've got to go down there and see the bird of paradise um, you, you'll instantly recognize it one thing that's good as well they've got a tether balloon in Madeira that you can go up in uh, which is oh, great right. you've got the cable car ride as well um, and you can come down in the, the wicker baskets one place to definitely go to is Blandy's, which is the uh, one of the most famous Madeira wine producers, and you can buy a vintage bottle from a particular year. So if, if you want to, you know, oh, really personalise something. Oh, special birthday anniversary. Yeah, yeah, birthday. it's really good. But Madeira, you, you can't go wrong. And of course, Portuguese Beautiful influence country. there. Fantastic food um, and uh, great history as well. Fabulous. Then we're heading to the Canaries. Now I'm going to sort of clump these together because they're all very similar in some ways and different in others. You've got Tenerife, Gran Canaria, and Lanzarote. Uh, I mean, Santa Cruz is great. For for your shopping. Uh, of course, you've got um, uh, some of the, uh, the national parks um, where you've got the mountain regions and the Bandama Crater as well. Um, just fantastic landscapes. I mean, these landscapes, they're used in a lot of the science fiction uh, films of the 1970s because it doesn't look mm. like anything that you'd see mm. on Earth. You've got black sand beaches as well. Great whale watching. Oh. Uh, and in Tenerife as well, you can go to Loro Park as well, which is the uh, the, the wildlife oh, park. Um, so it's just fantastic for there. Um, as I said, Gran Canaria and Lanzarote, you've got, again, very similar, great beaches. I mean, you've got near enough uh, a day of sunshine for every day of the year. You've got the um, um, oh, Mountains of Fire, the Mont Montanas del Fuego, uh, which is in Lanzarote uh, as well. So just fantastic places to visit. And if you've been to the Canaries perhaps as a family holiday, it's great just to have the day there. So Tenerife, yeah. um, uh, Gran Canaria and Lanzarote are your three destinations in the Canaries. And you've got a day at each of those. Then you've got another relaxing day at sea yeah. and we're moving on now to Lisbon. Yeah back into Lisbon, great shopping here, um, have a walk around the, um, the pedestrian area, go for your tram tours yes. um, and uh, you've got to go and have chicken chips with a little bit of rosé. We talked that's... a lot about Lisbon a little bit earlier on so we'll move on, you've got another relaxing day at sea. Yeah and then into uh, Bilbao uh, and of course this is again a nice wind down from quite a, an intensive port um, itinerary. Um, you've got a fantastic, you've got the Guggenheim, um, which is, here. oh, this is just beautiful to see it um, itself. And, and obviously, the, the pieces of artwork that they've got inside as well um, is phenomenal. Just amazing. Uh, so many, it's a fabulous itinerary. You've got an incredible ship that's on its maiden voyage, and you have got an incredible price. Of course, sailing you back to Southampton, but look at this beauty. Um, pretty much new and I, I could see yeah, there that was the North Star, the, the North Star yeah. coming out over the water. There's the, there's the actual pod that you'll uh, actually oh be in when gosh. you go over the top of the ship and you did see the indoor uh, skydiving as well. Uh, I mean Royal Caribbean has always been known for its ships, you've got the Bionic Bar as well which is a, a first, um, you've got the wonderful um, acrobatic school as well, the circus school um, and at the aft end of the ship one of the most amazing um, vistas. I mean, ships are known for their atriums, but this is like an atrium at the back of the ship. So you've got this wonderful panoramic view out the back. And even if you go for an interior uh, interior um, uh, stateroom, the, the virtual balcony, that screen that you see there, that is a live feed. Um, so you're never actually missing what's in port, even if you're in an interior. And you've cabin. got amazing prices for those 
virtual balconies as well. Have a look at what you've got. Some great dates there, September and October. You do get that free up to $400 on board spend per stateroom. And of course, you're sailing out of Southampton, so always book the Marriott. Got such a good deal with the Marriott through Planet Cruise. £75 per person there. And that will give you parking as well for the full 13 mm. days for £75. And you'll stay the night before so you can easily get on board the ship the next day with the transfers included as well. The itinerary does differ slightly depending on your departure, but you'll be visiting all those amazing places. And of course, all you need today is that deposit. I mean, I, I just think that is an incredible ship and some beautiful, beautiful places. All you need is the ID number, and of course, that is 77547. I think we've had some fabulous cruises on this hour, and we've got one last one to tell you about as well, and this is P and O. This is 15 nights, it's Eastern Caribbean. It's one of those, I, I just put wow. It's under 87 pounds per person per night. We need to look on board, and then of course Justine's been on the P&O cruises, so can tell us all about it. But Keith's on board at the minute, and he's gonna talk us around. Inspired by P&O cruises' illustrious past, but designed very much for their fabulous future, this is the biggest cruise ship ever designed for the UK cruise market. Welcome to P&O's beautiful Britannia. One thing you will definitely notice on board Britannia is that there's an abundance of excellent deck space and oodles of sun lounges to help you worship. In fact, there are four main pools to choose from, including the adult-only Serenity Pool, a perfect place to escape to for some downtime while the kids are being looked after elsewhere. There's 13 different bars on board, four of which are out on deck, which means you can enjoy the sunshine or the stars as you sip your favourite tipple. The stylish new blue cocktail bar is the perfect place for a dirty martini. Or there's Brodie's. I love that place. And that's where p and Cruises have introduced the biggest selection of British beers at sea, with over 70 to choose from, representing 56 different UK counties. The food is headed up by p and Cruises' iconic food heroes. You can enjoy the taste of India with the master of spice Atoll Kutcher's fabulous Sindhu restaurant or savour mouth-watering gala dinner options and menus created by the godfather of UK cooking, Mr Marco Pierre White. If you really want to spoil yourself, you can also book Eric Lanlad's afternoon tea experience or head to his market cafe. It's a French style patisserie that features fine cheeses, antipasto, charcuterie, tapas and speciality breads. You can enjoy the live music, comedy, cabarets and game shows at the Live Lounge or sit back for West End style shows in this fabulous new theatre which features a stunning LED backdrop. Strictly fans also won't be disappointed with the elegant wooden floor Crystal Room. It's dedicated to dance and the perfect location to uh, rumba the night away. <laughs> P&O Cruises have really pushed the boat out when it comes to the accommodation. There's a sumptuous range of boutique offerings to choose from, including well thought out single cabins to these incredible suites designed by Richmond International that come with your own butler. And all the accommodation on board includes flat screen TVs, pamper packs from the White Company and bespoke artwork from British artists. Another maiden season yeah. on the Britannia, which looks amazing. I know people that have been well, on that. And one of the great things is we don't do a lot of Caribbean cruises on the Friday show. So the, this, you know, if you want to go to the Caribbean, this is your opportunity to book it. If you get on the phones right now, you'll be able to book this. The Britannia looks fantastic because, of course, she's the first ship mm. in the fleet now to have the new livery because she's got the world's largest union flag down the side. All the funnels are going to be changing colours as well, from the yellow funnels to the blue and, of course, the crest and the emblem. But really great itinerary on this one. Beautiful, beautiful places. We've got to tell you where we're going. You've got some great dates as well. But where do we start off? We fly from Gatwick, but of course do yep. check your regional flights as well. And we're heading out to Barbados. Yeah, this is your embarkation point. Don't worry, we're going to come back to Barbados and I'm going to give you some of the best places to go for the local nightlife on your overnight Fabulous at the end of the, the cruise. End. What Brilliant. a way to finish. Um, you have a nice relaxing day at sea just to familiarise yourself to the actual ships and its facilities. And, uh, and then, of course, you're into Antigua. This is the island where you have a beach for every day of the year. You will not go wrong here. It is fantastic. There's lots of history, of course, from uh, you know going back when uh, the Caribbean was fought over by the French and the, uh, and the British uh, and the Spanish. There's lots of uh, the old um, uh, forts still there, but you've just got to go to the beaches on Antigua. It's fantastic. Um, then you're going to be going into St. Martin. Now, this is going to be your, um, your shopping port. Um, this is a, a Dutch and a French island. The, the actual um, story as it goes of St. Martin is the, uh, the two, uh, the French and the Dutch, walked around the island 
back to back and whoever met first that was how they were going to split oh, the really? islands um, one of them was walking a little bit faster than the other <laughs> um, this is a really really modern cruise port that pumps a lot of money into this so when you get off um, it's fantastic to walk around the actual town itself you can buy your watches your jewelry um, you can do all your cosmetics your duty free there's some fantastic local produce in st martin uh, as well um, and just strangely keep your eye out for a shop that has, um, it's one of the, uh, the original designers from Star Wars. I know this sounds strange, um, he's got a shop where there's a lot of artwork from Star Wars. So if oh, you like right. science fiction, you got to go and have a little fish out, fish about for that. Anyway, um, then you're into Tortola. Now this is British uh, Virgin Islands. This is a fantastic port. You've got Cane Garden Bay. Um, you can take a tour over there or you could hire a, a buggy um, and drive up over the mountain and down. Turn right to Cane Garden Bay turn left for Long Beach. I've never told anybody <laughs> about this. That's Cane Garden Bay, but Long Beach is one of the most, well, beautiful, deserted really? beaches. You heard it here first. Not a lot of people know it. Anyway. Um, a lot of people know now. It's not going to be so deserted now. Well, you know, you know I used everything. to keep that as a secret, but now, <laughs> I'm, now I'm not there. Uh, another thing to do in Tortola as well is to go to Puss's Bar. Of course, you can't um, uh, not go there to have a painkiller which is uh, made with a famous Puss's rum and you get an enamel um, mug when you have Brilliant. that as well. And perhaps just uh, take a little tour over to Virgin Gorda. Anyway, um, on to Grand Turk. This is where you're going to enjoy all of your water sports because this is where you can go scuba diving. This is where you can take a hobby cat out. Uh, this is where you can lay on the beach and everything is just, um, just within arm's reach. You know, you, you've really heaven. unwind. Yeah. Absolute heaven, paradise, so many places. We're off on to St. Kitts next. Yeah, um, St. Kitts, fantastic um, facilities for local markets. It's called Port Zanti. Uh, and the actual complex itself, this is where all of the locals bring all of their produce. So if you want to buy uh, anything really authentic, this is the place to go to. There's some great um, activities available. Uh, and again, I mentioned about sort of historic places. If you want to go to some of the forts uh, and some of the remnants, remember Pirates of the Caribbean, if you love those sort of uh, films then uh, you know make sure that you check out the tours that are available um, then from St Kitts you're going to be going on to uh, Dominica this is just this is the place I recommended to uh, the team today um, don't book a tour get a local guide um, right. just go out because these guys just have a little bit of a haggle and a bit of a barter on one of the bosses go out to some of the, uh, the banana plantations and see some of the waterfalls as well it's a really tropical island uh, St Lucia, another tropical island. Uh, you've got to go and see the Pitons, uh, and you've got to taste the local beer as well, which is mm -hmm. named after the Pitons. Two places to go to. Go to Pigeon Point. There's a really good beach up there and a great bar called Spinnaker's. Uh, and you can also go round to where they filmed the original Doctor Doolittle uh, with Rex Harrison. Oh. Um, uh, there's actually a bar around there called the Great Giant Pink Sea Snail. I managed to say <laughs> it. Um, uh, and that's round at Discovery at Marigot Bay. There's a great resort around there. So oh, St. Lucia's that's... also good. They've got a nice little cruise port for uh, duty free. So much going on here. We've got another relaxing day at sea to really enjoy that ship. And then where are we moving on to? Uh, going to the Spice Island of Grenada. Again, this is where you bring back all of your spices. I've actually still got some spices. I don't know how really? long they're supposed to last. Uh, but, you know, all of your nutmegs. It really is a wonderful place. Um, great, be great beach to go to is Grand Anne's uh, Beach as well. You can get a water taxi from the cruise port round. Um, let's just say uh, it's fun. These little old wooden boats with these outboard engines and these crazy guys in the Caribbean. Here, man, don't worry. And you're just <laughs> flying just, along, no life jackets. It's, it's just gonna great It's going to be fun. amazing. And then we're moving on to Barbados. We've actually got an overnight on board oh, here. Oh, yeah. Go to the boatyard. Go to St. Lawrence Gap, the ship in. Um, I do believe there's some very famous pop stars that are from Barbados that originally performed there. Um, Barbados is really great. It's, it's the home port for P&O over in the Caribbean, so you'll thoroughly enjoy it. Absolute incredible deal. The most beautiful itinerary. So much included. It's winter sun. Check out your flights as well from your regional airports. And, of course, the overnight on board in Barbados as well. The itinerary does differ slightly on different dates, but you've got all those amazing places to go to. We have had a, car, a, a, a fabulous, fabulous hour, and you have had some incredible deals. And you can see there, you've got some amazing prices there as well. We need to, though, run through absolutely everything. We started at the very beginning. It was Princess Cruises. It's the Emerald Princess. 
And of course, what you got here was Spain, Portugal, France, it was Guernsey. It was a no fly from Southampton, so add on that stay at the Marriott. You can choose one of the, these free of charge. If you actually stay at the Marriott, go for the $300 onboard spend. But of course, you could opt for the free car parking or the coach transfer. Amazing deal on that, $7.99 per person. Cruise 2, this is Celebrity Cruises. Now, this is the oh, Norwegian Fjords from Southampton. You've got an extra night. It's not usually, an, a seven, it's usually a seven night stay. You have, you've got an eight night. It's under £99 per person per night. It's a, an amazing price for Celebrity, especially for that balcony, if you're looking at the balconies. And you've got lots of free upgrades. If you're going for Ocean View, you've got free drinks package. Look at also the Aqua Clash. You've got an extra free free drinks package which is premium you've got an onboard spend and you've got unlimited wi-fi there's so much to go for that of course jump on the phones and they'll explain everything or check everything out on the website and do add on the marriott as well because of course you get that free car parking we've got the norwegian cruise line next incredible i put wow so special this is an escorted at barcelona it's the grand prix plus your med Cruise. You've got two nights stay in Barcelona when you go to the Grand Prix as well. You've got a free cocktail party on board just for the Planet Cruise team. Deposit only, crazy price for all of that. A great special occasion. If you go balcony above, you do get a free drinks package as well. Costa Cruises, Costa Victoria, 15 nights in January, the perfect time to go. What more can I say? Singapore, Borneo, Philippines, Hong Kong. You've got two nights stay in Singapore and at the end, two nights stay in Hong Kong. Check out your regional flights as well. That is an incredible... If you just think about booking flights to those places, mm -hmm. you wouldn't get the price you've got. Then you've got Royal Caribbean, Anthem of the Seas, 13 nights, Spain, Madeira, Canary Islands from Southampton. Amazing value for money, especially for that virtual balcony and you've got a free up to $400 onboard spend and again do add on that stay in Southampton you've got the free parking with that and then we've got P and O bit of winter sun on the Britannia maiden voyage maiden se season I should say 15 nights great dates as well and it's under £87 per person per night Eastern Caribbean a, a real special some beautiful places and of course you've got the overnight on board in Barbados as well. Do check out those regional flights too. There's loads of reasons to book with Planet Cruise and there's loads of reasons to book the cruises we've looked at today because they've been incredible. Just in <laughs> great Thank ships, great itineraries. Thank you so much for talking us through everything. Make sure you don't miss out. Make sure you've written down the phone number 0800 781 5458 or jump onto the website planetcruise.co.uk. They will make that holiday bespoke for you. So anything you want, just ask and I'm sure they will sort all of it out for you.